because you have no fatherhood. And that is true throughout our life, but with our ego as men, we will insist that we are. I always insist I am because I check with her before I make the statement and get recertified by her. Thus, she is the goddess. She controls everything I do, and I constantly go to her to back check and find out if she is still saying, I am the father. That's the only time I said, I am the father, and then look to her to see if she's going to revalidate this situation. <laughs> now, I know some of you will not do that, and then you are always up to the chance of being told you are not the father. Then the frustration comes, you want to kill her, you want to do all kinds of things because you didn't ask her before you make the statement. You're going to assume that you're a big man. I'm no big man. I'm a little boy when it comes and asking her to validate this because the fact is she is the mother and there's all kind of proof, including herself, but you are not the father in the same manner. You can only be the father when she validated and constantly re-evaluated. So the woman is the deity. She's the only one who can state emphatically she is the mother of the child, therefore the deity. If we look at it, there were times when the ancient people along the Nile validated that there was such a thing as sperm and different things like that, they did it because they were able to perform autopsy. It was not until the 19th century that the European could validate his fatherhood or that there was a fatherhood because it's only then that he knew what a sperm was or sperms. And it's only then that he knew there was something called sperm that uh, co uh, commingled with something called ovum, which produced an offspring. However, he couldn't find an offspring other than in the woman. It's in the female. These are giving you all the logical explanation for the deity. It's only in the female does this situation happen, that the, the sperm comes down from the, from the scrotum, that's what you would call the, uh, the, 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 that connected to the male between his legs, behind the penis, connected to the top of the penis. That is the scrotum, and it is there that the sperm is manufactured, it's made. It then is released down to the shank, goes into the one fallopian, uh, the tube, and then in there, the intersection is made with the woman's ovum. The fertilization of that, for the first time, starts what is called a baby, an infant. And we could go down to the sperm meeting with the ovum cause that element of humanity. In the woman, not in the man. A child does not come out of the man. Sperm comes out and meets the ovum in the woman. It is only and when the, these two things contact each other that a baby is created. The element of a baby is created in the woman, again in the woman. Therefore, she is goddess. She is God. She is everything dealing with the human being. Now, we have been taught to be jealous about this. And we created a book called the Bible, the Koran, the, the New Testament, and you call it whatever you want. It's still the same damn thing. You could say anything you want. Koran, Bible, and all them don't mean a damn thing without the woman being at the top. Fear, jealousy, all kinds of these things come in our mind as men because we've been taught that and we've taught to suppress the woman. We've been taught to show her that we got power, and some of us even get killed showing her by slapping her, kicking her, beating her up, and then here comes the butcher knife in our chest. <laughs> Shock kills us. We die 
before we die. The shock, the shock blow our brains out. And we can't take it. The shock blow our brains out and we're dead before we hit the ground. Yet, the question is, how do we change this? If, in fact, it is to the opposite, how do we present the evidence to show the contrary? There is no evidence to show. Unless you know, please speak up. I will give you the time to come here and explain it. And if it isn't any other way, how do we change to give the recognition and have a different life? I think that uh, in religion, this is the problem. In religion, the problem is we say we believe, and that means the truth. Uh -uh. I believe means we hope to have this be what we care for it to be. We believe we would have it no other way. But the reality doesn't deal with our belief. Belief is a thing that one day I hope. I don't I know I'm not gonna see reality. I'm gonna see belief. I have acted most of the times on belief, and when I acted on belief, I was accepted. <coughs> but when I acted on knowledge, the fact, truth, light, I've had to fight constantly because brothers aren't willing to deal with right. Brothers can't deal with right because it takes away from him a position that he've always held and it would take away the justification for beating a woman. So it is easy for both brothers when a woman tells them, I am pregnant for you. It is easy for him to even whip her. And that's a mild term, to beat her. To crucify her with a stick, an iron pipe, uh, anything. He will beat her in that position. She could be nine months pregnant. As a matter of fact, he'll beat the baby out. And then the other brother said, yes, brother, they're too damn fresh. You had the right to do it because your manhood was threatened. What it was threatened when he was his mama. His manhood was threatened long before that. His manhood was threatened when he was a lay dot. Not being able to see by the human eye. His manhood was threatened. All she had to do was flush his ass down the toilet bowl. <laughs> you see, we never give it a thought because most of us don't even have an idea of the relationship of a baby, the father and the mother. Most of us don't, don't, don't have any idea of how the sperm is transferred to the vagina and goes in a sacred place, the womb. We have no idea. Most of the mothers can't tell you or can't trace <laughs> the reproductive organ, much less the father's. I've met many young girls in their seventh, their fourth, their whatnot month, and they don't know how the baby got in there, how it came about, uh, how the sperm came in there, but they had all kind of sexual contact. It's a little had no idea how she got pregnant, how it happened. She knows a penis met a vagina, and that's it. She knows she had some fun, and she's going to have a child. She's going to be a mother, but have no idea of how she's going to be a mother. She don't know how to get a mother, therefore how could she know how to, she is as a deity. And she can't deal with it because the church, the synagogue, the mosque have told her quite differently to make the man telling the story be the one that passed the child. And the story is, I pass a child and the woman have the child. So the woman become the container to deliver the birth and had nothing to do with it when she is in fact the one who is going to give the birth. The one who is going, in her the baby is going to be made. She's going to deliver the baby because without her there is no baby. It's a 
different